Greetings today from Botswana. This video is intended to be a little bit of an update uh, as far as the beat of the war drums go. If you've been following this, these uh, videos of mine from the start, you know that we opened with a rapture correction warning, which will be in the links if any of you are interested in looking at that again. But as we anticipate, you know, going toward the end, we're saying that the rapture is going to come at the end and not at the beginning, which mean it comes, means it comes after the reign of the beast, the Antichrist, at that time. And so what we're looking for now is the revelation of the Antichrist, who that will be. This is according to 2 Thessalonians chapter 2, verses 3 through 6. It's just saying what withholds, there will be a falling away first, and then the beast, that wicked, or whatever descriptives are there, he will be revealed. It will be a general revelation for the world because he will be controlling the world. And so what we see leading up to that is world government and World War III. This is a program by a man named Albert Pike from the late 1800s, the leader of the Illuminati and Freemasons in the Western Hemisphere at that time. And he proposed a global takeover through the use of three world wars, and we are headed toward the third one. And so trying to anticipate that time, obviously I am not in on those plans, but we look to this happening before 2025. Some of the first numbers I was hearing was 2024, later in 2024. But as far as 2025 goes, a corporation named Daigle, D-E-A-G-E-L, they are a U.S. contractor of military-grade equipment for the Air Force. And part of what they did is they, they would hold a census of the United States and also project what the census would be for 2025. And they have predicted a 70% reduction in U.S. population, down to about 100 million by that year. So you can see this is a pretty serious matter that we're looking at. Uh, as we see now with this war in Ukraine, things have advanced. Um, there was great concern at the first that this could be an escalation to World War III because we saw Russia move and of course America and Western allies were kind of backing Ukraine. I'd really encourage you to look into the real news of what's going on in Ukraine. It certainly isn't what the Western media has, has projected. But what we see has happened through this war is there's been a great division in the world and many, many nations are pulling away from the United States hegemony that we have had in the world since World War II and even more so since 1971. We have been, we have become in essence a, an empire. Uh, unfortunately, not a good one. Many, many nations have learned to hate us over the years, and it's coming to an end. It is both prophetic and it is planned, because part of the plan for world government is there can be no strong nations left. So that even though they have scheduled, there is a schedule for China and Russia to attack the United States, I don't see that any nation, any single nation is going to come out on top, meaning really unscathed. Even if one wins, they will be uh, greatly decimated because of the consequences of a nuclear war. But what we're looking at right now, some of these points of concern, really have to do with the economy. As I'm saying, the nations are pulling away from America. We see the BRICS nations, that is Brazil, Russia, India, China, South Africa. They have pulled away. Most of Africa has sided with Russia in this conflict with Ukraine. And as it has happened, the Western countries have only hurt themselves by the sanctions that they have been making. And so what we see is that the economy is collapsing and the way things have been uh, in the world for these past uh, 50 years is collapsing. And that is a problem. Some would say, oh, well, we look at this and it seems like China will be the new world superpower and they will do this and they will do that. But America has the military. America's military is, well, the, the spending for the military is greater than the next nine nations in the world combined. 
We have somewhere between 750 and 800 military bases abroad outside the United States. And it's somewhere over 130 nations currently have our military active within them. So you can see there's a lot of push to keep the world order the way it is. If you can see wars such as uh, the one with the last one, I guess I should say, with Iraq in 2003, also with Libya, I think it was 2011. These were nations that were breaking this order of things. And as it happened, I mean, they, the other excuses were made, of course. But the truth is, it's all about the money. It's all about staying on top. And that's so for America and the other Western countries, they more or less obliterated these nations, destroyed millions and millions of lives just so that we can stay on top economically. That can't happen with Russia. That can't happen with China. These nations are too big and too strong, but we, are, we have been trying to push them nonetheless. And Russia's resistance here has come because they are trying to resist NATO advancement. They're trying to resist U.S. deployment of weapons near their border. This is what's really going on. So I just wanted you to know that in addition uh, in these links that we're going to leave in the description. I'm going to leave several news places that I go to. Uh, one is Redacted, there is Gravitas, and TFI Global. These are all on YouTube. They might give you a little bit more realistic view of the news than the mainstream media. Everyone is more or less parroting what they, they have heard and been told to say. Uh, I just wanted to say also, just to throw this in here, another thing to watch for in terms of how things advance, if it's going to be in the near future, would be the midterm elections. We see these elections coming up. They could be very crucial in the United States. And if there is a big sweeping change, this could bring about action, action headed toward the war. This whole, this whole thing in the world is not going to happen you know, without a war, unfortunately. And the midterms, if there's a big turnover from Democrat to Republican, you know there's a, about a 12-week leeway before the office change really takes place. And something could happen in that time. They are talking again about an economic collapse. They've been talking about this for like 15 years, but it will happen and it will happen soon. And eventually things will go to a cashless society. We'll have to see how that advances, but these are things to keep your eye on, things to keep in prayer. I just want you to know that the things happening in the world, uh, they have definitely been planned. Satan is planning for his takeover, and we want you to be ready. Uh, but don't be afraid to go back uh, to my rapture correction warning, see what's really going to happen. The rapture comes at the end, not the beginning. Try to be ready, because the deception of the Antichrist will be very powerful. May God bless you.